Now, police say that Hunter didn't know the second man that he is accused of murdering. Sam Trout, a former NDSU student, was living in a home on 12th Avenue or 12th Street North. It was owned by the Catholic Diocese and managed by St. Paul's Newman Center. Police believe that Hunter went into that house because he was high on meth. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson joins us live with more on Trout, a 24-year-old that police say is an innocent victim. Nicole? Typically, there's masks going on right now at St. Paul's Newman Center, but tonight there's a special service remembering the life of Samuel Trout. Family, friends, and those who knew him well are here where he spent much of his time. He just would want us to be happy because we know as with our faith that he just, he won the race. He just skipped right on up to heaven. A good young man unknowingly opened his door to a monster. That's what police are saying about Samuel Trout, or Sam, as his friends call him. Before the police report or anything came out, I was like, man, I bet he just wanted to help that guy so bad. And he just, to the very end, he just wanted to help that guy to be a, just to love him. I just feel like we've just been hit by a train and are just trying to you know, make sense out of how could something like this happen in our community? How could such a, a random, senseless, tremendously horrific act of violence and murder uh, be committed against uh, such a virtuous, just and kind man? An NDSU engineering graduate, a teacher, a missionary. It's going to be really missed. And to many, the very best friend. Especially pray for just peace, peace in Fargo. I think we all just need to love each other more. Things like this wouldn't happen if everyone just accepted more joy and more love into their hearts. So that's what we want. That's what we want to come out of this. Just everyone needs to be more joyful and find the goodness in life. Trout is originally from Sartell, Minnesota, the same hometown as Tommy Beerson, the NDSU student who was murdered last fall. Police say right now it doesn't look like there's any link between the two murders. Moorhead police say Bearson's case is still a top priority. Reporting in Fargo, Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. Nicole, thank you. There have been three murders in Fargo this year. Police Chief David Todd says that many is unusual for the area. However, he says he's not ready to say that Fargo is changing for the worse, stressing that crime rates are still low for a city this size.